their borders. Four days since the floor votes to elect the next House Speaker, Republican leader Kevin McCarthy at last picking up momentum. <laughs> Cheers on the House floor as more than a dozen of the anti-McCarthy holdouts moved into the GOP leader's support column, cracking the ultra-conservative coalition against him. McCarthy. McCarthy. This amid back-to-back -back losses for the California lawmaker. But even with the progress, McCarthy still lacks the votes to claim the speakership. The last four days, they haven't been ideal. They've been difficult. But I do see fighters. I see patriots who love this country and want to make things better. Friday afternoon, just after his 13th straight loss, McCarthy projecting confidence that he has the votes to win tonight. It just reminds me of what my father always told me. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And now we have to finish for the American public. The GOP leader reiterating his latest round of concessions to the so-called rebel Republicans who have refused to lend him their support, including a change to the House rules to allow just one lawmaker, Republican or Democrat, to trigger a vote to remove him as speaker. While some have flipped in his favor, the remaining ultra-conservatives claiming never Kevin are still holding their ground. Mr. McCarthy doesn't have the votes today. He will not have the votes tomorrow. And he will not have the votes next week, next month, next year. And after McCarthy lost his 13th vote, the House adjourned until 10 p.m. tonight. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.